So what's really behind the latest delay in SpaceX Starship IFT-5 launch? Is the FAA holding things up for legitimate reasons? Or is this just unnecessary red tape? Also, what did Elon Musk have to say about this? He's even talking about going to Congress now. We'll talk about the details behind the hefty fine that SpaceX is facing. And we're going to unpack all of it in the Space News Pod exclusive report. Now, Mike Whitaker, the FAA administrator, defended the agency's decision to delay SpaceX's next Starship launch during a congressional hearing recently. And according to Whitaker, the delay is entirely based on safety concerns, as SpaceX had not fully complied with federal and state permitting requirements. Now, this delay now pushing the launch from August all the way to November comes just days after Musk criticized the FAA, probably because he knew what was going to happen. He was accusing it of obstructing SpaceX's progress. Whitaker emphasized the importance of compliance, specifically citing SpaceX's failure to disclose certain issues, including potential violations of law, which is a requirement for obtaining the necessary permits for launch. Now, the fine in question, which amounts to $633,000, stems from SpaceX launches in 2023, where the company reportedly violated FAA-approved plans. Now, specifically, the FAA accused SpaceX of using an unapproved launch control center and a new propellant tank farm during Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches. Whitaker defended the fine as the only tool available to ensure that SpaceX adheres to the rules, stressing that safety is the FAA's top priority. Representative Kevin Kiley, a Republican from California, raised questions during the hearing, suggesting that the FAA might be subjecting SpaceX to undue scrutiny and slowing down innovation. He questioned whether the FAA's actions were truly in the public interest. In response, Whitaker was firm, stating that safety is paramount and that the FAA's delay is connected to a required environmental analysis of the sonic booms that could result from the upcoming launch at SpaceX's Boca Chica, Texas site. Now, the issue of sonic booms is key here because SpaceX plans to return its Super Heavy booster to the launch site for the first time ever. This is a significant aspect of the Starship launch as the reentry could produce sonic booms that might disturb wildlife in the surrounding area. And due to this, the FAA must consult with the Fish and Wildlife Service to ensure environmental compliance. Now, Whitaker maintained that the sonic boom analysis is in fact a safety issue, despite pushback from the FAA, uh, from SpaceX. And if you want more accurate, honest, and reliable SpaceX reporting, please take a second and hit the like and the subscribe buttons down below. Now, Kylie questioned whether these reviews are necessary for safety. But Whitaker responded that compliance with the rules is crucial for maintaining safety standards, especially given the complexity of the mission. He pointed out that the two-month delay to conduct environmental analysis is reasonable and aligned with safety procedures. And in Whitaker's view, it's part of building a safety culture, which is vital for such high-stakes operations as returning a 250-foot tall booster back to the launch site. Now, when asked what could be done to expedite the launch, Whitaker's response was straightforward. He said SpaceX needs to comply with the regulations. He reiterated that following the permitting and licensing requirements is the only way to move forward without further delays. He also suggested that SpaceX could benefit from adopting a more robust safety management system akin to what is used in the aviation administration uh, by airlines and manufacturers like Boeing. Now, Whitaker's defense of the FAA's actions didn't go unanswered. SpaceX swiftly countered with its own detailed rebuttal, dismissing Whitaker's comments as inaccurate. And in a letter to the House Science Committee and Senate Commerce Committee, SpaceX asserted that the FAA has made several incorrect claims, particularly regarding the fine and the reasons for the delay. And according to SpaceX, the alleged violations for the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches were exaggerated. SpaceX maintains that the new launch control center and propellant tank farm were minor updates that pose no public safety risk. The company claims that it provided the FAA 
with ample notice of these changes, and the FAA's delays in processing these updates contributed to the problem. Now, SpaceX also disputed the FAA's claim that the new propellant tank farm was moved closer to propellant areas. And in its rebuttal, SpaceX argued that the farm was, in fact, relocated to a safer, more distant location. Furthermore, SpaceX said that the sonic boom analysis is more of a bureaucratic paperwork exercise rather than a genuine safety concern, casting doubt on the FAA's jurisdiction for delaying the launch. Now, Elon Musk himself has not shied away from airing his frustrations publicly, and in a post on X, he described the FAA's involvement in these matters as petty and accused the agency of focusing on irrelevant issues rather than addressing real safety concerns. Musk has been especially vocal about the government's handling of Boeing's Starliner program, which he believes deserves more attention than his company's minor infractions. And last week, Musk escalated the dispute by taking his grievances to Congress. SpaceX sent a letter to leadership on the Senate Commerce Committee and the House Science Committee outlining its stance and refuting the FAA's claims. The letter signed by SpaceX lawyer David Harris argued that the FAA's actions are baseless, that the agency failed to process necessary approvals in a timely manner, resulting in a fine. Now, according to SpaceX, the delay in approving the new launch control center is a clear example of FAA's inefficiency. The company stated that it had submitted a modified communications plan, including the new control center, to the FAA for approval in May of 2023. However, the FAA did not respond until June, just days before the planned launch, claiming that there were too many changes in the plan to approve it on time. Now, SpaceX revised the plan in mid-June, limiting the changes to the new control center location. However, the FAA still failed to approve the plan before the June 18th launch. Now, SpaceX ultimately went ahead with the launch, arguing that the FAA's delays were unjustified and there were no risks. But the FAA eventually approved the communications plan in August, long after the launch had taken place. Now, on the matter of the unapproved propellant tank farm, SpaceX explained that it had moved the facility for safety reasons, and the change had already been approved by other safety authorities. Furthermore, the FAA granted a waiver for the tank farm's use in a subsequent Falcon 9 launch. Despite the facts, the FAA imposed fines on SpaceX for using the tank farm without formal approval during the earlier Falcon Heavy launch. The fines and delays have led to further tensions between SpaceX and the FAA, with Musk accusing the agency of political motivations. And in his views, the fines were announced shortly after Congress began scrutinizing the FAA's handling of launch licenses. Now, Musk has described the FAA's actions as lawfare, and SpaceX has hinted that the fines were imposed as a reaction to this increased congressional pressure. Now, do you think that it would be improbable for the FAA to simultaneously act quickly in response to congressional criticism while being accused of moving too slowly for SpaceX. Let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, hit the like and the subscribe button. It takes a second, it's free, and I wanna hear your voice. So for now, the dispute between SpaceX and the FAA continues. Although Musk has threatened legal action against the agency, no lawsuit has been filed as of yet. And the company is still hoping to resolve the issues surrounding the fine and the launch delays. But tensions remain high as the November Starship launch approaches. So the conflict between SpaceX and the FAA basically boils down to differing views on safety and regulatory compli uh, compliance. And while the FAA insists that its actions are motivated by a commitment to safety, SpaceX sees the agency's delays and fines as excessive and politically driven.